Hi, I'm Don. I'm a product marketer at Airtable. One question we hear a lot, how do I create a Gantt chart in my Airtable base? If you've ever needed to manage a project, update production timelines, or manage resources, you've probably already used a Gantt chart. They're a quick, easy way to manage a schedule and ensure that all changes are reflected in your timeline. Let's jump into an Airtable content calendar to see how Gantt works. In this base, short for database, we're tracking the status of deliverables. In the first table, content pipeline, we're tracking all the pieces of content, including requests here. In other tables, we're also tracking campaigns and results. Let's dive into the campaigns table. In this table, we're tracking the status of all of our campaigns. You can see there are fields or columns that track campaign lead, budget, as well as start and end dates. You might be wondering, is there an easy way to see how these campaigns overlap and make any changes quickly? There is. Simply create a Gantt view in just a few easy steps. Click the Gantt view button. Select your start and end date fields. Click Continue. Here you can add any dependencies you might want, like a blog post being published, for example. For now, we'll continue without dependencies. You can also add a milestone, such as the end of a campaign, so that you know when the campaign is over. For now, we'll skip milestones. Now you can go ahead and click Finish and get started on your first Gantt chart. 